Hello, everybody. It's um, it's Monday morning. It's rainy and cloudy and just a cool day. And I'm in Kentucky. <laughs> and it looks like I'm going to stay. Um, I've just, uh, I don't know. I'm just had in my heart that I wanted to be home and I wanted to be with my family again. And um, I've been out on the road, you know, four and a half years and enjoyed it, but it's it's getting more difficult out there. Um, the Southwest really having all kinds of problems, you know. Um, everything's drying up. They're not getting their, their rains like they used to and you know, the Colorado River, which feeds a lot of the water supplies down there, is drying up terribly. Um, you know, the Lake Mead, Lake Powell, the big reservoirs are drying up. Lots of wildfires. <clears throat> I mean, you have to just stay vigilant. You know, when you're parking in a forest and you smell smoke, you need to find out, see if you've got to move or whatever. Um yeah, I'm not real awake yet. It's still pretty early morning, um, so I may not got my morning coffee. But, uh, yeah, I'm back in Kentucky. I'm on my daughter's land. Um, it could be a permanent situation. I'm feeling very good about it. I know <clears throat> there's a lot of changes, but I'm kind of looking forward to it. I don't know. The... Um, I look forward to kind of making this a new adventure. And so far, um, very settled with it, very happy about it. Um, our motorhome's pretty old. I bought an old uh, vintage motorhome <laughs> and a 76 model. And she's done great. I mean, we've made, I've made two trips now. Um, I made a trip back to Kentucky last year and then back out west and then this year coming back. But it's just like it's hard on her and it's hard on me too. You know, the traveling is really difficult. You really don't get a lot of downtime. Even though I just, uh, this year coming back, I just decided I wasn't going to cover that much ground. I, I, you know, it's going to hit a 100, 150 max um, travel day. And then if I found a place where it was comfortable and I just wanted to st stay there a day or two, I would. I was just going to mosey on back to Kentucky. And that's what I did. It took, I don't know, two, two and a half weeks, I guess. But it was enjoyable. But the, the same was, uh, saw the same thing everywhere we went. You know, things are just really changing. So it felt comfortable to be back here with my family and uh, I got to, um, this is my granddaughter's graduation year, so she had her 18th birthday, <clears throat> graduating high school, heading into college, so I got to, uh, got home on the, got here on the day that uh, her prom, of her prom, so I got to participate a little bit in that, get, get some pictures and things, uh, but anyway, so, uh, I'm still a nomad. I'm just static right now. <clears throat> I'm not going to be traveling as much, and if at all. I'm working on getting a vehicle so that I can, a second vehicle so that I can, you know, run my errands and things without have, having to uh, depend on, <clears throat> you know, my daughter to... But it's it's worked out real good. I mean, when she she's got to go to the grocery anyway, so when she goes, she just lets me know and asks if I want to go, and I go, and we have a good time. We get our grocery shopping done and come back. It's all good. I mean, um, uh, no downsides to it, except I'd, I'd like to visit people. I'd like to, uh, you know, go see some people, especially uh, where I used, around the area where I used to live, so... Yeah, I don't know. 
you know, I, I did the nomad life for four and a half years. I enjoyed it totally, but uh, things were just changing, you know. I mean, uh, I'm sitting there watching the desert dry up even more, and it just doesn't have the bloom that it used to. It doesn't, uh, even the cactuses are dying, <laughs> which is not a good sign. Um, the wildfires are making it more difficult, you know, to uh, maintain their... They're closing a lot. I mean, they've, two of the uh, campgrounds used to stay out of closed, and they're turning them in into housing uh, for all the people that are flooding into the Flagstaff area. And I suspect there'll be more of that. Um, it's just, um, I don't know. You know, it's it was like it's it's getting like mm, uh, it's making life harder and um, I just thought this was a good move I don't, I don't know I really don't know why I decided just to come back and stay because initially I told my daughter that I wouldn't be back this year you know gas prices and COVID stuff still going on and all that but just it just hit me it's like you need to go home you know don't plan on coming back and I, you know, told my daughter, said, yep, I've changed my mind. I'm coming home. Um, take me a while to get there, but I'll be there. And it was, it's been really good for me. Um, I've enjoyed it very much. And I, I get to be a part of my kid's life again, you know. Um, just a new adventure. And I, I'm... Uh, everything's working out really well. I've had to make some adjustments here or there, but that's part of it. That's what you do out there when you're a nomad, you know, and you move to an area that has different weather, different climate, different circumstances. You just have to adapt. And out here, I've adapted and settled and um, working on getting a car. So, like I said, don't have to depend on my daughter so much, but, and I can go visit friends and things, but um, yeah, life is good. <clears throat> I am good. Um, very happy, very content and looking forward to, you know, just, uh, a new adventure. So, um, off the road, but, um, still nomad in heart. <laughs> anyway, just wanted to put that out there. <clears throat> Uh, hope to see some old friends and stuff around and visit. So, take care. Much love. Much peace.